YouTubers, I'm back and this is a working model now. Obviously work in progress, work in progress, but uh, for now this is doing very well. On my last video, these are the battery packs finished. And I've chose yellow for the colours. And these are seven banks. Seven banks with 80 cells in each, so it's an ATP7S setup. Uh, for a 24 volt nominal off grid solar setup. So, from the batteries, I'm using uh, this, I think it was 6 gauge by memory, which is it will hold 170 amps of power. Goes through a switch, 100 amp rated. Off the positive side, I've got a self resetting 50 amp uh, circuit breaker. Despite only being 50, I did boil a 9 amp kettle at rate of 240 volt 9 amp, which is 80 amps to draw off these batteries. And it still held out right near the end. And then, and then the trip back and went back and finished doing this job. Through the switch onto the inverter. Now, from the solar, I'm using these 10 mil electrical, which can hold about 50 amps, through a 50 amp circuit breaker on the left. That goes into the inverter. I want to swap that out for a DC wire. Now this is the inverter. At the moment, it's in bypass mode. Uh, so the idea of that is it comes in from the grid into this inverter. So when the batteries get too low, it can swap over to the grid. And then when they charge up to a set point, it swaps back to batteries and they can be all adjusted to the voltages when they cut in and out but what I've done is I've just pulled the power from the other side of the house to supply power back into the first side for when it gets too low just use it from the other side of my house I'm only supplying power to one side of my house at the moment through this conduit which is electrical AC 240 volt into this board with all the DIN setup, DIN circuit breakers, I'm using that as my main switch to turn off all this, which goes through a 10 amp circuit breaker. This one here will eventually be used to power the flip switch from the grid to the inverter for the batteries alone. So why 10 amp is because this power board only can hold 10 amps. And as before I had to set up, I'm using plug in the power method, which all this will be changed later, but for now it's working well. Uh, using a 10 mil once again there, but I don't need 10. And that goes to, correct myself, that's two and a half mil, that's electrical wire, which is equal to what's in the house. And that's for a rate of 15 amp. So anyway, it goes through a 15 amp breaker, which wouldn't have a trip because this 10 amp would do it first. And then a little watt meter, so the bottom one is what I'm interested in. That tells what the house is drawing, but at the moment it's not flipped over to supply power to the house from here. So, pretty much that's the setup. Uh, to be more precise, this inverter is a PIP 3024, I think it was a HSE, and it's rated at 3000 watts at uh, 24 volt nominal. So, that has an interface to the computer, which is here. And what I like about it is it's got little pictures to say what it's doing from the grid into the load of the batteries. At the moment, it's just going straight to the grid to there and the solar panels. And in this section, I'll tell you what's going on. When it's run off the batteries, it'll say how many amps it's drawing. However, uh, the battery capacity, which is not accurate. The uh, solar panel input power, which I, I like to look at. That's the watch generated at the time. It's also it has other features which logs it all too. Anyway, that's where I'm at with it so far. I will give rundowns on how I've got that far, how I'm doing my packs, uh, few wires and all the rest. I'll do that later on. But for now, I just wanted to show what is actually working. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.